Hello so guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and customize your control center or your quick menu, how you wanna call it. So to open it up, you just wanna press once on your PSM button and if you wanna come up to the home screen, you just wanna keep holding. So first up, what you wanna do is you wanna go over here and then we wanna click on start. So once we click on start, you will see a lot more options. So what we are also gonna do is you wanna we are gonna add accessibility. So if you see like some options that you cannot use, it means that you cannot remove them guys. So these ones, I can all remove them, but the other ones, I cannot remove them guys. So the ones that I cannot select, it's impossible to move. So what I mainly keep is the game base, my music. So once I open up Spotify, and broadcast because i sometimes do a broadcast but i just keep this one off right now because i'm not planning to do a broadcast right now so you can also go to like accessibility i'm going to show you that later on it actually has a lot of options so you can also do network so i you like i recommend you guys to use network the reason why is sometimes what happens is let's just say gta so once you're like loading up to a gta lobby and you have some internet problems. So what you wanna do is you just wanna go to network, just close off your network and open it back up and you will just fix that problem and you won't be any loading screen once you wanna join online. So this is also a great fix. So I recommend you guys to keep network. It could be also great for, for other games. Sound and mic. So these are some couple of useful things. And guys, if you don't listen to music, just turn that one off but you can also turn off broadcast. It's a thing for yourself, but I recommend you guys to get this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So that's pretty useful. And now let's just go ahead and go back to our quick menu. I'm gonna show you some accessibility. And like you see guys, you have a lot of options on here. Like you see, you can change like inverted colors. These are some couple of cool things what you can do really quickly and also color correction. You have bold text, like this makes the text a bit bigger, like you see, it's quite cool. I'm gonna actually keep that up for a bit. You can also go to like text size, so you can make your text size really big and you can just make it small. So I wanna keep it on normal or let's do large, nah. Let's just keep it on normal. So you can also do higher contrast. Okay, I can, can I see something? Oh, okay. Let me press again. Nah, I don't really like this. So I'm gonna go back and turn this one off because I cannot see the backgrounds. So you can also go to like a lot more settings if you want to. And that's quite cool actually, it's like you have a lot of options on accessibility, but I recommend you guys to turn this one off. And let's go over to something else, we have Switcher. So this is basically if you're like playing a game and you move to a other game, you can just go ahead and switch to that uh, type of game, that's quite simple. So you can also see your recent applications, recent games and stuff like that. So let's go over to notifications on here. I actually got a lot of notifications. So what you do is you just can go ahead and go to your notifications, but that's a default setting. Like you cannot remove that game base. So on here, I recommend you guys to get that because you can basically just see your friends, your parties, your messages and stuff like that on music that's personal to you. If you listen to music, add that. And let's go over to accessibility, like I showed you guys, I already showed you. And this was network guys. So like I said, if you have like a problem, like for example, if you cannot connect to the network, if you have problems, you can always go quickly on here and then just turn off your internet connection. So this is, like I said, if you have a problem while loading up to a online game and doesn't load up and you're stuck at a loading screen. So you can fix that by just going on here. Now let me show you some couple other things, sounds. So if you wanna hear your sound from your um, output device, you can just do that if you want to, or you can just change it to something else like your TV. 
let's go for the headphones so this is pretty much how much sound you want to hear from your headphone or your tv let's see over music and these are all things personal things basically so let's go over to mic so mic what you can do on here is you can choose which type of mic that you want to use the wireless controller the usb headset so no one can actually right now like say that they don't have a mic basically everyone has a mic right now because once you have the controller you can just go ahead and speak that's quite cool you can also mute yourself but you can also just do that by pressing on your controller you can go to here let's see what we have so you can just turn off your controller if you want to let's just say that you have like two controllers and you don't want to use the other one you just turn it off something on here you have also controller settings and on here you have my headset so i think this was basically it you have also your profile so if you want to go ahead and go to your trophies you want to switch users like to a different account you can do that or you can just log out and that's basically it on here you can also just appear online so these are some couple of useful things you can go to power enter rest mode turn off or restart so this is basically the quick menu and how to customize it and how you can just customize your quick uh, control center how i want to call it guys like is that and this was basically the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did you can drop a like and also subscribe thank you so much guys and here is my profile so if you want to add me you can just go ahead and add me so thanks for watching take care guys and goodbye and you can also follow me on twitter and instagram i'll leave a link in the description down below and also guys leave a comment down below when did you get your ps5